Hello and welcome to PPC124's first video and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a Tekkit Classic server 3.1.2 so the first thing you need to, gonna, need to do is open up the web browser and type in www.technicpad.net and it should bring you to this website here if you just go over to the mod packs and click that and then click Tekkit Classic and then it should come up here and then what you're going to need to do is press download the ticket server. I've already done it as you can see down here. So while you're waiting for that to download, you're just going to press new folder and then you're going to call it whatever you want. I'm just going to call it ticket classic server. And then you're going to open up your browser again. Minimize that a bit. And then drag your download into the ticket classic server. Just like that. You're going to need to keep the internet browser open, so just don't close it. And then you're going to open up your Ticket Classic Server folder, and you should find this. What you're going to do is you're going to right click and press Extract here. And it's basically just going to take all the folders out, put it into here. There we go. And now you don't need this anymore, so you're just going to delete that. And then if we double click the launch button, a little Windows thing will come up, and it's just going to start downloading the server, start. Preparing spawn as I say so we're just going to wait for that to load up and we can close that so while we're waiting for that to load up we're just going to go back on the internet and if you type in your browser 192.168.0.1 this should take you to your broadband your network and this is where it's going to allow us to do our port forwarding for the server so other friends can come on it as well so I'm just going to log in so once you've logged in, there should be a button down here saying advanced seconds. If I just click that, yes, I go down to port forwarding. Right, okay, so we just click port forwarding. As you can see, a little thing it comes up here where you can create a port and stuff. So you're just going to leave the services services. Now I'm just going to call it tech it server for now. And then the start and end port is the same as Minecraft, so 25565. For both of them, two, four, five, six, five. There we are. And then the protocol it has to be TCP and UDP, not one of them, just that one there. And then to find out your IP address, you're just going to click start, type in CMD, and this should open this little control thing up. You're going to type in IP config in one word press enter loads of numbers and letters should come up if you just scroll up a bit and find your IPv4 address here it should say 192.168.0 and then 0.5 so I'm going to close that and I've got to change that to 0.5 so I'm going to press add rule and then it should come down here enable apply yes which is going to enable the port to forward okay so now we've done that we're going to keep the uh, super hub open because we do need that a bit later so what you're going to do now you're going to go on your Techit classic server if you scroll down you should see a little thing called server with a notepad thing on if you just double click that and this little notepad should open oh god let's just try that again right there we go um, if we go to server IP you're just going to type the same one in as you did for your port forward in so 192.168.0 point mine was 0.5 so I do 0.5 and then you can change the name of your server change the max players and all this but that's up to you so I'm just going to leave it like that for now and press save if I just go back to what we opened earlier it's finished creating the world so you're just going to type stop into that and that will save the chunks and just stop the server and now you've created put the IP in um, you can launch it again close this so now it's starting the server on the port that you've put in and it will do the seeds again right so that, as you can see that is done now so if we go back to the superhub website and if you click I think it yeah device connection status to find your IP you're just going to scroll to the bottom mine's there but I'm going to block it out for important reasons so what you're going to do is you're just going to copy that and you can close that and then if you open tech it like I already have then it should be there you just type it in and it should be there you double click on it 
and you've got it you've made your ticket server it's a uh, pretty easy pretty fun uh, you can play with friends it is really good fun um, as you can see it's just taking a while to load but once it does load it's fine so there we go so then you can play on your server with your friends and it's really good thanks for watching guys uh, I hope you like and comment and subscribe um, please comment on what you want me to do next because I'm sure I'd be happy with whatever you guys want me to do. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.